Hey everybody, what's going on? Just like we predicted on this channel with all the chatter going around about the trade deadline, the 3 p.m. deadline just passed and the Montreal Canadiens only made a small minor move today, which was to be expected. They brokered a deal involving a three-way trade and ultimately got a fifth round pick in 2024. Always nice when you can add one of those draft picks to the closet as well and get a lottery ticket like that. But it was kind of expected that the Montreal Canadiens would be quiet today. Joel Edmondson returned to the lineup last night against Los Angeles, and there was kind of some hope and some chatter around him ultimately being traded by the Montreal Canadiens, but he still has one year left on his contract. There's obviously injury concerns surrounding the player, so it's safe to say that no team really felt comfortable giving up the assets the Montreal Canadiens would have liked to get in return for him in a move, so it just made sense to hold on to him. Ultimately, if a team's just asking you back for a third round pick or a fourth round pick in exchange for Edmondson, and it's not really a move that makes sense for the Montreal Canadiens to make. There was clearly nothing that was overwhelming for the Habs to get back in return, whether that was a second round pick or a first round pick. It's pretty clear that neither of those options were ultimately on the table or even a prospect that the Montreal Canadiens had their eyes on. It just doesn't seem like any of those deals ultimately came to fruition. And you have to trust Kent Hughes and company that they know the offers they received or the lack thereof. And it just didn't really make sense to move Edmondson at this current time. So it's safe to say that he could be dealt at the next year's trade deadline. If he is healthy, that's going to be a big if. There's a lot of health concerns surrounding Edmonton with his back, with lower body injuries. But for the time being, it just really didn't make sense to deal Edmonton for a lackluster return. That's just not something Ken Hughes and company had any interest in doing. In terms of other assets the Montreal Canadiens could have moved, Sean Monahan is obviously an obvious name to consider, but his injury kind of plagued them from doing that, and it makes sense whether he sticks around next season and signs a one-year contract at the league minimum or somewhere like that with bonus incentives stretched into the deal. We'll see what happens with that, and we can revisit this at next year's trade deadline if that does happen. But for the time being, it kind of feels like they wasted an asset because of the mismanagement with some of his injuries, but that's a conversation for another time that we've already discussed on this channel. Other players such as Christian Dvorak, potentially Josh Anderson. It's clear that the Montreal Canadiens just didn't get the type of offers they were looking for in exchange for these players, and there's really no rush to move them. Of course, fans want to see action, but I trust this management team right now more so than I have any of the past two or three management teams that the Montreal Canadiens have had in place. So be patient. This is a rebuild, not a short-term fix. As much as you want to see the Montreal Canadiens get back to being a competitive team, it's ultimately going to depend how they start drafting, whether Uri Slavkovsky hits, whether some of the kids hit in the system that they currently have, whether the top two 15 picks that the Montreal Canadiens are likely going to have in this year's entry draft hit. There's a lot of things riding on the Montreal Canadiens' future success in addition to whether a player like Pierre-Luc Dubois comes home and ultimately helps the Habs in the top six. That's it for me today from Cook's Corner. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this year's NHL trade deadline. I know the Montreal Canadiens weren't as active as some people would have liked, but that's ultimately part of the business. So once again, comment down below your thoughts on the Habs and where you see this team headed in the future. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.